Hi, and welcome back to our Hyundai i30N. You may remember from the last video that we changed the car's flex pipe, increasing the bore size from 60 through to 76 millimeter. This netted us good BHP results from 5,000 through to six and a half, showing gains of between five and eight BHP. In this video, we're gonna delete the car's gasoline particulate filter, removing it and replacing it with a straight through pipe. Then we're gonna put it back on the dyno and see what results that gives us. So let's get this car on the lift and up in the air and see what we can do. If you're wondering what the inside of a GPF looks like, here it is. You can see the density of the substrate and why that might restrict BHP, certainly as the car gets tuned. And here we have the GPF delete pipe, again made locally for us by RPM Performance, beautifully TIG welded, stainless steel flanges at either end. And the bosses have got the cutout for the factory sensors, so they locate properly, you can see them in both positions, so that both sensors locate properly. Again, 76mm all the way through, so it'll be interesting to see what power gains we get from this pipe. Okay, so let's have a look at the graph and how the car did and performed on the dyno. You can see from the numbers here, it's actually only a two horsepower increase, but that's peak to peak, and that represents the red line there at that point through to the car when it was fitted with its original GPF to about this point. Um, so not much peak to peak gain. However, it's not just peak numbers which make a car quick, it's power across the graph. And, um, and certainly here, through this range here from two and a half all the way through to 5,000 revs there's a really good gain, um, both in power and on this graph here, the, the torque. Um, so for example, at, at two and a half thousand RPM, we have got an increase of nine BHP and 19 pounds feet of torque. At two seven, 11 BHP and 22 pounds feet of torque. At two nine, 10 BHP and 18 pounds feet of torque. And so on, the lines start to close up here. So by 3,100, we've got six BHP and eight pounds feet of torque. But once we get through to 3,800, we're sort of back to 11 BHP and 15 pounds feet of, feet of torque. Um, and so on right the way through to, to 5,000 where the lines join up. So really good gains from, from the GPS, certainly at the bottom end. Um, and, and that would be very noticeable on the road because it's, it's power and torque at the bottom end, so response would be so much better. So well worth doing the, the GPF delete if that's one of the things you're considering to do on your high-end i30N. Um, next, next video, we'll be looking at a full exhaust system as opposed to GPF and flex pipe upgrades. So we'll have a full exhaust system on the car and we'll see what that will do. Join us then. Thanks.